If you want to learn more Juno security topics, be sure to check out our Juno security course. For full details, just visit juniper.net slash course slash JSEC. It's three days of all things Juno security. Now let's get to your learning bite. Hello and welcome to this learning bite about configuring the Juno's operating system to display a system login message. I'm Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Let's get started. After successfully completing this learning byte, you will be able to explain the purpose of displaying a login message on Juno's platforms and be able to add a login message to a device configuration file and verify the results. So what is a system login message? It's a message that can be presented to the administrator before they log into a network device. So whether they secure shell or telnet or console into a platform before they authenticate, before they provide a username and password, I want a message to be displayed on the screen. And, and this is commonly done for legal reasons. And the, and the content of the message is generally defined by a company's legal department. The failure to display a login message can limit the ability to prosecute unauthorized users of a platform. And in some environments, they can even limit the ability to monitor the device's usage, you know, unless a, a proper you know, warning message is displayed. On Juno's platforms, login messages are, are configured under the Edit System Login hierarchy of the configuration file. And there are special characters that can be used to format the message so it, it appears in the way you'd like it to appear on the device's screen. There is a, a backslash N special character combination that can be used to represent a new line, so essentially a carriage return in the message. There's a backslash T that can be used to insert you know, tabs. Uh, so you can kind of use these keys to format the message so it appears in the way you'd like. And your message is probably going to have spaces. And so you're going to have to enclose your message in double quotation marks. So what I'd like to do now is connect to an MX80 routing platform and, and let's configure a login message and commit it and then see how it works. I'm going to log in to this MX80 device and enter configuration mode. Now we're going to configure our login message under the edit system login branch of the configuration hierarchy. So let me let me change focus of the CLI to, to that particular branch. And then one of the options that I have with the set command is to set a message. And this is going to be the focus of our learning byte. So I'm going to say set message. And remember, my message is probably going to have spaces in it. So the first character I'm going to enter is a double quote. And then remember, there's some special character combinations we can use to implement some formatting. So I'm going to do just a couple of backslash n, backslash n. Now remember, that backslash n keyboard combination is a carriage return. So I, you know, I'd like to have a couple of carriage returns, and, and then maybe with a backslash t, tab my first sentence of my message in. And, and since this is a, supposed to be kind of a scary, intimidating message, I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit the caps lock key here. And, and then whatever message your legal department you know, gave you, let me do a carriage return here, unauthorized, oops, let me go put a D back on here, I left the D off of uh, unauthorized. So unauthorized access of this platform, let me do a backslash in, backslash in, and continue on, you know, is prohibited. I'm going to go ahead and do a, a, a backslash in again to, to do another carriage return. Maybe another one just because it's fun. And then whatever the rest of your message is, uh, please contact network support at, you know, Fred at you know, here.com, whatever, whatever the rest of your message is, 
And then I'm going to do another carriage return. So, so backslash in, maybe another one just for good measure. And uh, let me put a period at the end of this just to make it, you know, formatted, be a little better formatted. And, and then I'm going to close my quotes. And I'm, I'm going to hit enter now. And, and I'm going to run a show, you know, message command to kind of see what we placed in there. Now, it, it may look a little, you know, unfamiliar to you with all the special formatting characters in there. But, but once we commit this, and log in that that formatting will help the message you know uh, appear in a clear format so now that I've added whatever message I, I, I desired in here I'm gonna go ahead and commit the, the the change and then once the commit is finished I'm gonna go ahead and and go to the top of the configuration and exit out of configuration mode and type exit again to, to completely log off of the platform and now it's going to be you know like I just connected back into it again and and so here I here's my message now I apologize my formatting I, I need to spend a little more time on that but anytime I console or telnet or secure shell on this device here is my you know my, my login message it's going to appear and again it appears you know above my login prompt so before I log in I'm already warned you know what the consequences are of unauthorized access of this device so in this learning byte, we explain the purpose of displaying a login message on Juno's platforms, and we entered configuration mode and added a login message to a device, and then logged in and viewed the results and displayed the login message. Thank you very much. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks certification program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.